Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and in this section, we'll be covering the newly added section to the AI 900 that focuses on generative AI. Generative AI, including technologies like ChatGPT, is becoming more recognized outside of tech circles. While it may seem magical in its ability to produce human-like content, it's actually based on advanced mathematical techniques from statistics, data science, and machine learning. Understanding these core concepts can help society envision new AI possibilities for the future. First, let's compare the differences between regular AI versus generative AI. AI refers to the development of computer systems that can perform tasks typically requiring human intelligence. These include problem solving, decision making, understanding natural language, recognizing speech and images, and more. The primary goal of traditional AI is to create systems that can interpret, analyze, and respond to human actions or environmental changes efficiently and accurately. It aims to replicate or simulate human intelligence in machines. AI applications are vast and include areas like expert systems, natural language processing, speech recognition, and robotics. AI is used in various industries for tasks such as customer service chatbots, recommendation systems in e-commerce, autonomous vehicles, and medical diagnosis. On the other hand, generative AI is a subset of AI that focuses on creating new content or data that is novel and realistic. It does not just interpret or analyze data, but generates new data itself. It includes generating text, images, music, speech, and other forms of media. It often involves advanced machine learning techniques, particularly deep learning models like generative adversarial networks, variational autoencoders, and transformer models like GPT, Generative AI is used in a range of applications including creating realistic images and videos, generating human-like text, composing music, creating virtual environments, and even drug discovery. Some examples include tools like GPT for text generation, DALI for image creation, and various deep learning models that compose music. So let's quickly summarize the differences of regular AI with generative AI across three features, functionality, data handling, and applications. Regular AI focuses on understanding and decision-making, whereas generative AI is about creating new, original outputs. In terms of data handling, regular AI analyzes and bases decisions on existing data, while generative AI uses the same data to generate new, previously unseen outputs. And for applications, regular AI scope includes data analysis, automation, natural language processing, and healthcare. In contrast, generative AI leans towards more creative and innovative applications such as content creation, synthetic data generation, deepfakes, and design.